Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. Starts with c6, followed by d5. Ah, there's a temptation to take it, but you should not. Otherwise, pawn forward would mean open gets a big center. Okay, pawn forward can be weakening. I can get my queen here, maybe. Trying to defend the pawn. But the open can take this as well doesn't at least for now i'll take this pawn rather takes with the knight uh let's play pawn forward maybe or attack let's attack the knight goes back i can let this be and drop the knight maybe Let's try and pin this knight maybe I can take. I should, I should not. Let's not. Okay, develop the bishop, either knight. Okay, can connect both the knights. One forward would mean I can get back or I can take. If I take, he opens up the file. So let's try and maintain this diagonal, which he anyways gets rid of. So I can take on the, oh, that's a free knight. That's a free knight. I can take, and then maybe this works. Nah, bishop is there. Let's hold on. And oh, now the bishop is not there. Let's take, let's take back. And there comes a folk, three way folk. So not only goes exchange down, but a piece down, but everything down. So let's exchange the bishops of the board. Okay. Should I castle? Should I not? I should not. Maybe play pawn forward. Now that weakens up the pawn. If I go here, he of course takes. I think I should go here first, let up the knight. And then now go with Okay, I can castle. But then go with the knight, attacking the bishop, or this doesn't work. So credits to the opponent for hanging in there. But he's not winning this game on the merits of credits. Go here. This doesn't work. I have to go this way. Maybe exchange queens if somehow possible. How is pawn forward now? I can break out open. We can try to double up and then spoil things for me. I'll go here rather. Let's see. How is this move? Ah, that's that's nice. Yeah, I hope there's no threats. No threats doesn't look like. Take on the bishop. Ah, this can be a threat. Queen here. Then I have to go back to defend my mate. Otherwise I lose the knight. Oh, he thankfully didn't see. Um, no, there's no threat. I should take. Goes back maybe, doesn't, okay. Um, let's add this. Pawn forward income. 
does. I'll take the pawn. I'll go with rook here. I'll take as well the bishop if I get a chance, which I don't. Um, let's try and double up. Not a bad option. Open has last rank weakness, which we can exploit. Meanwhile, open can try and checkmate. Uh, doesn't for now. We can go here as well. Or let's go here. Maybe second rook and then try to triple up. Oh, I'm the cheeky checkmate. That doesn't work, my friend. Let's exchange queens, otherwise that's made. Add enough. Okay, can I take? Don't want to. Let's exchange. Oh, that's also made if he doesn't take. Uh-oh. So that looks like a revenge. My opponent has won two times over me earlier. This time he didn't get lucky. Resigns, of course, that had to come. Let's analyze the computer perspective. Started with d4, c6, d5 there, and then knight to c3. I went with bishop g4, often gets queen on b3. Tried to defend, he can take on the pawn, but he doesn't. Then I take on the pawn, he takes with the knight. I go with bishop backwards and then just trying to get my knight. Yeah, here's a trick. You can just take on the bishop. I saw this later on because I cannot take simply because otherwise this comes and then I'm losing the rook as well. So that could have been a trick, but my opponent doesn't take. And then I go with bishop there, play pawn forward. And that's about more of consolidating and just getting back to my development basics. And then uh, knight comes to d7. Attacks my bishop, I get back to the bishop, the right move. Then a free knight out of nowhere, and I took it gracefully. He goes back with the bishop. I take on that knight as well, and then he takes with the bishop instead of the queen. The right move was to take with the queen. Then also, I think doesn't matter because even if that happens, I can come up with a fork, and suddenly he's going to lose the rook. Um, but here... Uh, he takes on the bishop, I go with the fork, takes on the rook, then attack the bishop, which we repeated a couple of times, and then I thought, okay, let's bring the repetition. I'm ahead in the game, I don't want to draw it. I castle, he goes back, I get my queen position on d7, then queen goes to d5, and yes, again, spotting the right move, trying to fork both the pieces. Again, I was wondering what if he goes back with the queen and the right move is, oh, pawn forward. That's also nice. Otherwise, I was thinking I can go back with a knight too. This also works. That's more of passive move. What computer testing is more aggressive. It does take, I can take on the pawn, but I didn't straight away, but attack the pawn on e5 uh, there with the bishop on c7, which he defends. Now I take on the pawn, that comes with a check, get my rook centralized, then the rook lift, attacking the bishop, bishop goes back, then doubling up the rooks, the right moves. And then I can exchange queens, but I didn't offer straight away, but then he tries a cheeky little mate there. Uh, it's actually not gonna mate because I can simply run away, but I then just try to play pawn forward and then exchange queens, which he denies. And then I go with on the last rank, and that's more or less it. And my opponent resigns because he can save this if he tries to get something in between. Of course, I can take back with the rook as well, and then he cannot still take anything. Otherwise, lose the queen. Uh, so that was it. My opponent had to resign, no other option. That was the last rank weakness as well. And he can try and defend it, but it won't help him because it's 72.7 down already. 
the best move is to play pawn forward. I'll take, he goes up. I take the maybe bishop as well, or I can attack with the queen as well. Uh, threatening checkmate here, so he has to move the queen. And then some sooner or later, he'll get into a checkmate because if he just tries to move around, I don't think there are lots of squares remaining. Yep, I go here. King comes up. There's again another check. He goes back, and then that's mate because I'm covering up the square. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And keep coming back on a regular basis because I will be posting one video on a daily basis. So thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.